six anyway. So we are one minute early. Can we start? I think there is nobody else coming. Let's do it. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I would start with a question. Who has uh, tried uh, MySQL 8? Good boys. Uh, for the ones who don't know me, my name is Giuseppe. I've been working with MySQL a long time. I currently work with uh, VMware, um, doing things different from database, but I do um, database uh, on my own just because I like it. And Fred asked me to remind you that there is a FOSDEM hashtag and MySQL dev room hashtag that you should use actively. So, roles. What are they? It's something that is available in MySQL since uh, version 8.0 and something that is created like a user and granted like a privilege. And uh, there is uh, the tricky part, the part that uh, um, triggered me to um, to prepare this presentation is that uh, you need to activate them in order to use uh, and there are a couple of uh, uh, problems or tricks but we will see. So before roles, meaning in MySQL up to 5.7, what did you have to do to authorize somebody to use uh, a database? You create a user and then you grant, grant, grant uh, uh, to the to that user, then we have a, another user which similar access. So you create the user and grant again a lot of things. Create the user, grant, grant, grant until you make a mistake. So it's a lot of uh, repetitive work and there is a lot of chances to to make mistakes. So the advantage of roles should be easy to understand. First of all is faster user administration. You define a role, you assign many times, and so you have less uh, possibilities of making mistakes. And then you have a centralized grants uh, handling. This is, um, as a consequence, gives you also the possibility of uh, having uh, better grant statistics. So let's start with something practical. Let's start with a bad example because you know when you try something new usually you end up with something that doesn't work. So we have, uh, um, creating, we have created a role we call it powerful. Then to this role we grant uh, everything on every um, object in the database. Then we create a user, we, make it, we give it a, a password, and then we grant the role to that user. So far, everything is according to the manual. Now, let's see if it works. So we, um, we connect with the new user and we try use test and it says access denied and we show grants and we see that the powerful the role that should contain the the privileges is there however it doesn't work so what has happened we are going to find out soon stay tuned Exp let, let me explain how the role usage works in MySQL 5A, um, 8.0. You created a role, first of all. Then you grant privileges to the role. We have seen that. Create the user. Grant role to the user. And the missile piece was set the default role. You have to do something extra in order for that user to be able to use that role. Let's see in practical. We create a role 
and uh, notice that there is no identified clause when we create a role. Um, we grant something to that role, create the user, and then grant the role that we have created to that user. Notice the difference when you grant a role is different from when you grant a regular privilege. There is no on clause in the grant statement. And then you set the default role. So you so say alter user, default role, and the name of the role. Or you can use a set default role, name of the role, and name of the user. You can do that in several ways, unfortunately. So a few points that you need to remember. First, the MySQL dev room hashtag, because Fred likes that. <laughs> you can grant many roles to one user. And this is by design. You may want to have several roles that have one portion of the privileges that you want to, to create for a given work and then assign several roles to, to, a, to a user. Uh, the roles don't have a specific table. There is a, the roles are saved in the user table. So basically a role is a user without a login. And as a consequence of the previous um, point uh, is that you can actually grant a, um, a user as if it were a role to another user. Um, no, I was, this is the next one. Um, the point that I, I was making before, it was that uh, um, when you grant the role, it's not, your job is not finished. You have also to activate the, the role. You have to set the, the role as default. And what I was saying before, it was that uh, you can grant a user to a user. So you don't need to, to have a role specifically defined. You can say, just uh, uh, grant uh, user Shlomi to user Fred and uh, it will work. It will be a confusion between the two, but uh, it works just like a role. Now, the most important part is that uh, you, not, you need uh, to set the role active. So you need to read the manual, and the manual gives you a bit of a uh, headache. So set role means uh, for this session, use this role as default. Set default role means uh, forever, not only for this session, uh, use uh, uh, this, assign this role to that particular user. And uh, set role default means something completely different, meaning if this user has a default role and was using something different right now, give it, give it back the default role. So if this is confusing for you, you are right. <laughs> I hope that uh, the MySQL team will do something better with this. Um, so telling roles from users. This is something that I would like to. As an administrator, I would uh, like to know um, can I list just the roles, but there is no feature for that. So the thing that you should do is uh, to adopt uh, a naming convention. For example, start the user, uh, the, the roles with uh, R underscore something, and only the roles will start that way. Uh, I know that there is a feature uh, um, request for this, but I'm not holding my breath about that. Things that uh, we do find, instead, there are a few tables 
related to roles. There is a role edges um, table that uh, tells you which roles have been assigned to which users. And then there is a default roles that says uh, which roles are default for the users. A funny thing is that in default roles, you can put mostly anything, even if the role does not exist. This is a bug for me. It's a philosophical question about, uh, according to the developer who responded to my bug. So basically, the default role may not exist. And I hope that somebody uh, will change their mind in the MySQL team and decide that uh, the default roles should be something that exists. Otherwise, we go back to the problems that we had before the roles. So the roles uh, in action, and don't forget about uh, the hashtag. Let's suppose that we want to, to deal with the Lord of the Rings uh, world using roles. So I have a role that is uh, observer, another that is tester, another that is developer, and DBA. And uh, this, uh, all these roles will go to act on a database uh, called the Lord of the Rings. So what do we do? We assign the select to observer, select, insert, update, and delete, delete to tester, all to the developer, and all on everything to the DBAs. So what do we do then? We assign the, the roles to the users. And we have users that, of course, belong to this, uh, um, to this database, and are Bilbo, Frodo, Sam, Pippin, Merry, Boromir, Gimli, Aragon, Legolas, Gandalf, Galadriel, and Gollum. And if you know the story, you know that uh, uh, the DBA go to Gandalf and Galadriel because they cannot go to anybody else. And the developers are Frodo, Aragon, and Legolas. Um, and the testers are Sam, Bilbo, and uh, Gimli. So you see, we have uh, several roles assigned to um, different users, and notice that I have set the default role for the right user, so they will work immediately. How do they look? If we look at the user table, you see that uh, basically they look that like users. The only thing is that uh, they don't have a password because we created the role using the create role instead of create user. And that's it. So you can see that this, the roles start with R underscore. It's just my convention, not something that you are forced to. Um, and that's it. So you see this. If you use uh, the roles uh, with a bit of uh, organization, you should be able to, um, to find them. Now, Using the, uh, the roles, you can also use some different uh, ways. For example, you can say the ones who have the password expired and account locked. They are roles. But you, know, you can have also regular users with the same, uh, um, with the same characteristics. Um, if you are adopting a naming convention, you can just uh, select uh, the users that uh, start with the uh, um, prefix that you wanted to use. You can see uh, the role age uh, that gives you which roles are assigned to which users and uh, the default uh, roles, and you see the assignment uh, of defaults. And then you can use uh, specific queries uh, to see who, um, which users uh, have a particular role.
For example, the DBAs are Galadriel and Gandalf. The developers are Aragorn, Frodo, and Legolas. And then you can, uh, can use the, those tables just, you know, with regular SQL to see how many DBAs you have, how many developers, how many observers and testers. Um, similar query. So when you have a user with a default role, you have a show grants, and uh, you see that uh, the grants here come explicitly. So you see that it has uh, select, insert, update, and delete. And when you say select current role, you get the name of the role. If you don't have uh, a default role, when you do the grants, you don't get the privileges, you get only the name of the role. So when you do a um, user without a default role, <coughs> you try to use it and you get uh, access denied just because um, the role is not active. You, s you do a set role and you can enter the database and do whatever you need else you need to do. A thing to remember is that a set role is not permanent. Set role is something that happens in the session. Is a question there? I, um, the question is what the current role shows if you have uh, many roles um, assigned as default. It shows the list of roles that were assigned. Um, set role, set, uh, select the current role, and you see the name of the role. Then uh, you see that uh, uh, you can enter the database where you should enter. Then if you do a connect, meaning that you restart uh, the, the connection, the set role expires and uh, then the connection is denied. <coughs> so let's go back to the bad example that we had at the beginning. And we were in this uh, condition. So we have uh, uh, the powerful role that is uh, assigned but is not active yet. So the thing that we need to do is uh, set role powerful and then show grants will show <coughs> all the privileges that come to with that, uh, with that role and finally you can enter the database. One thing that uh, is a piece of good news, in uh, MySQL 8.0.2, there is a possibility of uh, having roles active by default. So there is one option that it says activate all roles on login. And uh, if you activate that uh, option, every, um, every user that has a role and when at the moment it connects, uh, it, will be, it will have the role active. So you don't need to do set role at all. Of course, you can do manually if you want to change the de default role, but the default role will be uh, active. And there is a strange thing that is called mandatory roles. Mandatory roles means uh, uh, set this role mandatory for every user. And I don't know, it could be useful or it could not. So with mandatory roles, let's see, we um, create a schema, we select, uh, we, we grant uh, um, something to this role, and then we say this role now is mandatory for everybody. So everybody can see the Lord of the Rings tables. So I create a user, 
identified by Emson Box, and I don't give it anything. So when I connect with this user, I get an error. Why? Because the role is not active. But if I say also set global activate all roles on login equals one, and then I try to connect again, then this uh, dummy, which didn't have any uh, privileges at all, it gets the mandatory role, and with this mandatory role, it's able to use the um, the Lord of the Ring database. One thing that, uh, one strange thing that is a consequence of these mandatory roles is that if you already have the privileges provided by that mandatory roles, it doesn't matter. That mandatory role comes to you anyway. For example, the user root here has also um, the grants for the Lord of the Rings uh, database even though root can access already everything. Last thing, in uh, MySQL 803, there is the possibility of saying, of putting the default role in the create user. So the create user is something that comes uh, before assigned roles. So you can say create user blah blah, and default role is uh, foo but you need also to assign that role so i don't know i think there is some work to do on this because yes it's good that uh, i can assign a default role it would have been even better if i could also say also uh, i want this role to be uh, not only the default, but really to exist for that user, which, uh, you know, if you, don't, if you do things this way, you say set default role during the create table, uh, create user, you end up with a user that has a default role and no role. It's complicated. Yes, it is. So, um, end of time. Um, I can answer a few questions, and don't forget the hashtags. No. Open a bag. <laughs> what happened when you delete a role that was assigned? Um, the next time that the user connects, uh, it will not be allowed to, to use that role. If, um, so if you delete a user, the default role remains, unfortunately. So it's something that should have disappeared, but it doesn't. Um, so uh, the question is, do you need to, set, to uh, specify set role every time? No, if you have a, a set default role, then that role will come uh, every time you connect. It's a SQL command, so you need to specify uh, which, uh, whichever, whichever client uh, you want to use. Yes, you can assign several roles as default. Last question? It's very I didn't hear the last part. 
Yes, it is. 